All right, all right, everybody. It's now time to work on some extreme expression-based animation with Maya. Expression-based animation can be the best type of animation because it's pure and you don't have to do any keyframing. What I'm going to do now is create a poly cube, and this is going to be a simulated lantern. It doesn't look like much of a lantern, but it'll act like one. I'm going to hold down D as in Dave key and pull up the oops, pull up the pivot point so when we rotate it'll rotate like this here. What I want to do is rotate on the X with an expression and to do that I want to go to window animation editors expression editor. That pops up here. Let me also rename this lantern. That'll make things easier. Okay, now, lantern.rotateX, you can grab this and pull with a middle mouse button, or you can just type in, if you know where you're going, lantern.rx, and lowercase, and we'll make this sign of the frame, which is the actual position we're at from frame 1 or frame 20 or so. We'll divide it by 10. The lower the number, the faster it goes, because we're doing a division. And then I'll multiply this by 30, which will end up making this negative 30 to 30 degrees. Let me increase the time slider to 200 and I'll play this. So if we go over here, that looks pretty nice. So you see this expression, the sign is going from negative one to one and I am multiplying this by 30. So it's nice, smooth, it'll keep on going for as long as the animation goes. Now I wanna add another attribute to it so I'm going to copy this and rotate this on the Z. Let me paste that and I'm going to change this to a Z. Oops. And make this cosine, which is not the inverse of sine, but for what we're doing, it'll work as well as that. So now, as you can see, it rotates in a circle. So that's pretty fun. Now, what happens if we want to start it from a stop. Well, there's a thing called smooth step. By the way, if you lose your expression, you can go to select filter by expression name up here and click on expression one. All right, now let's make a variable. A variable is a user defined attribute that we can make here. And I'll call this thing start stop. And the variable starts with a dollar sign so you know that you have declared it. I'm going to type in smooth step and I'll do it from 50 to 80 based on frame. What this is, start underscore smooth step, we go from 50, frame 50 to 80, it'll slowly gain in speed. So from frame 1 to 50, smooth step returns 0. From 50 to 80, it goes from 0 to 1. And after frame 80, it is 1. And I'm going to multiply this stuff here by start stop and I'll do the same thing over here times start oops, dollar sign and stop now let me edit that I'll rewind this and play it now it starts from a stop here and then it hits the maximum speed so you see that smooth step is a function that returns 0 to 1 based on these two values and an increment, which in this case is the frame. Now what happens if we want to stop this? Well, we can do a multiplication and parentheses one minus smooth step. And that'll be, I'll make it from 120 to 140, a quick stop based on the frame. And put an extra double parentheses here because this is separate and this goes here. Let me edit that, rewind this, so let it start going, and we'll then have it stop. So what this is doing, I'll go over it, say we're at frame 100. This, since it's past 80, is 1, and this here, this is 0, so 1 times 1 minus 0 is 1 times 1, so this, this is this part times one. Now, what if we are 
after frame 150. So what that is, this is one because it's after frame 80. And this is 150, that's one, but one minus one is zero times one is equal to zero. Now anything times zero is zero. And that is why we are using this to start and stop. All right, that's a quick lecture, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. Talk to you later.